All right, guys, welcome to the 2025 launch. This is going to be one of the segments that uh, I've been really interested in because BRP is always pushing the limits when it comes to technology and innovation. No better guy to uh, talk to us a little bit more about what they've done for this year. I'll let you introduce yourself. Perfect. So my name is Julian. I'm uh, the connectivity specialist at BRP, so product expert for all our connected technologies. Awesome. So we're going to go through uh, in this video, we're going to take you guys through some of the, uh, the updates that BRP has done this year with the gauge. Um, we've put out a lot of videos over the years about you know, what kind of technology we've gone from 7.8 display to 10.25. We've shown you guys all the features, how to connect BRP Go, and there's a lot of new stuff this year that, uh, oh, yes. that we're excited Perfect. about. Yes, I'll, I'll do a quick demo to you. For those who have never seen this new, uh, well, it's not new anymore, but it's the, the telecorder touchscreen display. It's, uh, it has been launched two years ago on our model year 23. And in 2025, we have added a lot of new features. So if you go uh, here, you'll be able to get uh, many applets right here, where you can connect a headset and your phone to get your phone. You can listen to music very easily from here statistics, vehicle applet, and navigation. So I will, I, will, I will talk about a bit more about navigation because there's new features for model year 25. So for the model year 25, um, you will be able to have a built-in GPS directly on your gauge uh, in the vehicle. So you will get an um, embedded topographic maps as well as embedded snowmobile trails in supported regions without the need to connect a phone to the display. So you'll see your live location on the map without a phone connection. Uh, you'll also be able to um, trace all your breadcrumb trails directly on the gauge. So let's say that you leave in the morning and want to go back in the afternoon, you'll get all these uh, directly on the gauge. Now, that is not through BRP Go? That's that is not through own... BRP Go, exactly. But like I, d I did for the demo here, I connected the phone to the display, mm -hmm. and now you can have access to BRP Go okay. right here. So. Without a phone, you have access to basic navigation features, like I mentioned. You can see your position, you can see topographic maps, you can see your breadcrumb trails, okay. you can see a compass on the map as well. But if you want to use more features, you must connect your phone and use BRP Go. Okay. So if you want to see your friends on the map, if you want to get turn by turn indications, if you want to see a gas station, now you must connect BRP Go. So in a nutshell, you get basic navigation features on the display without a phone connection. But if you want a richer experience for navigation, connect your phone and use BRP Go. Awesome. And uh, for those who don't know as well, we improved uh, the experience a lot uh, in BRP Go with new features, with new interface uh, improvements. By example, one of them is the record write button right here. So we can easily start a, a write recording directly from the gauge. Uh, like this and now you'll get your time as well as this distances departure now my vehicle is not in motion but when you'll be riding you'll be able to see your breadcrumb trails behind you there's also a 2d mode and 3d mode which is very nice while riding oh, as well as awesome. a new compass right here uh, and for those of you who want to see the map like a paper map with the north on the not on the up you can easily press that button to lock north up like, like this. Now I'm already uh, facing oh, north. That's awesome. But that's great also. So that's one of the improvements for BRP Go. There's another improvement for Model Year 25 regarding the edict grips. So when you'll be pressing that button right now, uh, it will open a vertical bar right here. And when you press another time, you can swap between the grips and the thumb very easily and control the heat independently. Oh, okay, that's great. So, so you don't have to go right into the system to actually adjust the settings. Exactly, so okay, you can easily awesome. manage this from the gauge uh, easily. And for those who don't know the other buttons as well, there's the applet switcher right here. So when you press that button, you can select multiple elements. So let's say you want to go to media, you can just select media, it will switch back to the music. And every time that you long press on this button, so if you long press on this button, it will always bring you back to the full gauge view with the speed, the RPM, and an extra gauge that you can change also. So right now you see your suspension that you can change from the display. Mm -hmm. Or if you long press, you can also swap the, the, the elements of the battery voltage or the coolant temperature or, or anything. Nice. And another reminder that um, in the preferences, 
you can manage many options, but one of them that is very useful is the Wi-Fi section. So you can connect your display to our Wi-Fi network and that will allow over the air software updates. So actually last November or last December, we released a new software updates for model year 23 with new features that came with the model year 24. So every time that we'll be launching new features such as the built-in GPS, the new ETA grip behavior, mm -hmm. you'll be able to update, update your sled from your home with a Wi-Fi connection. Uh, so if you have, again, a model year 23 or 24, you'll be able to use the built-in GPS. You'll be able to see the new ETA grip behavior directly from uh, your Wi-Fi settings. That's amazing. So what you were saying is there's also a module I think that you can purchase, right? Yeah. So for previous model years, if they want to add the GPS functionality to the sled? Yes, you're right. So you'll be able to uh, purchase and install a GPS module that will be sold as an accessory. And it's super easy to install. You don't need to, do, to go to the dealer. You can just plug in the GPS module. And when we'll be making available the new software update, you can just go to Wi-Fi, add your network, uh, and when the software is available, you get a notification. You can just download this, uh, this new update and we'll, you'll get the new built-in GPS uh, features directly on the gauge. Fantastic, that's amazing. And finally, I can maybe talk a bit about the Vibecom system right yeah, here. Yeah, for sure. So last year, we launched the Vibecom system on the Advex Helmet, but in 2025, we launched the new Vibe Universal Com system. So that means that you can now attach the Vibe Universal to any helmets, okay? And in terms of a connected experience, what is cool about it is that when you pair a Vibe to the display, the mm -hmm. 10 and a quarter inch display, you'll be able to see one, your microphone status and your battery status directly uh, in the preferences here. Now it's not paired, but you'll be able to see it. Okay. And if you press that microphone button here on the handlebars, uh, you'll be able to mute and unmute your Vibe communication system directly from your thumb. So you don't need to uh, to play with your with your <laughs> to go and look for exactly. it exactly so helmet. it's super easy to just press uh, to unmute you talk with your buddies and when you're done talking you press uh, mute to make sure that you, there is no sound uh, interfering into the discussion fantastic that's a great overview well i can't thank you enough i'm uh, certainly excited to see uh, more of this obviously i'm going to be ordering a couple of sleds or we'll be ordering a few sleds for next year yeah so we're going to be adding a lot of the a lot of the features we always love the tech and appreciate it Appreciate you doing the segment with us. Thank and, you very uh, much. Yeah, thanks. My pleasure.